um, today is uh, Monday the 25th of October, which means it is day one of Vampathon. I will leave all of the Vampathon hosts linked in the description bar below. But yeah, so I'm participating in Vampathon. Um, if you saw my October TBR, you would know that I haven't actually got a set TBR for this readathon. I'm just going to read a bunch of different books, try and fit them to the prompts, and we're just going to go from there. Um, so yeah, the first book I'm reading for Vampathon is The Puppy War by R.F. Kuang. So I'm actually finishing this one off. So I'm up to page 400 uh, 412. In this, uh, I'm going to use this for the prompt book to sink your teeth into because I'm really enjoying this. I've been absolutely flying through it. So yeah, this is, I can already tell that this series is going to be like one of my favorites because I'm enjoying this so much. I'm having such a good time. I understand what the hype about this series is. I mean, yes, I've only like, only just finishing the first book. I understand what all the hype is about and why everyone loves this series because I'm also enjoying it myself as well. So yeah, um, I'm reading The Puppy War. Um, of course, it's a little hard to read with the puppy around. Obviously, I'm going to make sure he's okay. But yeah, um, so that's what I'm doing for this one. That's the plans for today slash tonight. I'm hoping to finish this by today because I have been reading this for a little while. I've been working quite a bit over these past couple of weeks because the store I work out recently had some refurbishments. So majority of my weekend was uh, not the weekend past but the weekend before that was taken up trying to you know um fit the store you know trying to put everything back into the store and all that so i've been super busy with work this week not so much i'm actually getting my covid vaccine my second covid vaccine on sunday so yeah i'm i'm a little nervous for that but i'm excited to be finally fully vaccinated against COVID. So yeah, that will be really good. But um, of course, I'll keep you guys updated on Sunday as time goes on. But yeah, so welcome to day one of Vampathon. I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. Um, if you guys do enjoy them, if they go well, maybe I'll keep up with weekly vlogging as time goes on. But yeah, that's all my updates for day one. So today is Tuesday the 26th of October and I'm just giving you guys my updates for the Poppy War. So I'm up to page 460 and so I'm almost finished. Still really enjoying it. There were moments so like last night when I was reading it that like I had to put it down and I was like, what in the world did I just read? It's very intense, major trigger warnings in this book. So I just want to make that very clear, but I'm still enjoying it. I'm interested. I'm, inter <laughs> I'm interested to see how RF Kuang ends it because obviously I know that it's a series so we'll obviously get more but I'm interested to see how she ends it and where she ends it and I will definitely be picking up the second one because I need to know what happens next. Hello and welcome everyone. Um, I don't know why I started off this uh, day's clip like that. Anyway, so today is Wednesday the 27th of October which means that it is the third day of Vampathon um, and I'm just giving you guys an update on my progress for The Poppy War by RF Kuang. So I'm actually up to page 498 so I don't have long left. I literally have that much left of the book and that's it still really enjoying this there was a scene in here that i was a bit hesitant about because um the main character ends up in a lab with like a crazy scientist um and those kind of scenes have have like i'm ruined by those scenes like i cannot read another scene with a character in a in a lab with like a crazy scientist like doctor person um ever since i read ventral by v.e schwab that scene ruined like when i saw that that was happening like going like when i thought that it was going in the direction i thought it was going in i was like oh my god i'm gonna have to skim or i'm gonna have to completely skip over the section in general because i cannot handle another scene like that ever again um ventral ruined it for me i have been scarred for life because of that scene by um from vengeful it's just what happened but it's okay I was fine it didn't go in the direction that I thought that it was going in so we're all good so yeah that's what I'm up to a lot has happened a lot has gone down and I'm like how is RF Kwong doing this like one minute you think that it's all about to chill out and relax and then boom she throws another curveball at you and you're like do you know what can I have two seconds to breathe, please? So yeah, uh, that's all my updates for the Poppy War. I'm hoping to uh, get in some journaling maybe tonight. 
today sometime because I'm really far behind on my journaling. Um, I just haven't had the motivation for anything quite recently. So I actually, I'm getting back into the motivation of things, which is why like a lot of videos I haven't been uploading and all that, but because I just haven't had the motivation. Um, but I'm slowly getting the motivation back for everything I want to do. I want to journal. I want to get back into editing and filming and everything. So I'm sorry <laughs> about that. But yeah, unfortunately, my motivation levels quite recently just have been really low. And I've just been like, I am not in the mood to do anything. So we love, we love depression. It's fantastic. But yeah, so anyway, I'm slowly getting my motivation back. So tonight I'm hoping to do some journaling. Um, I also need to decide which books I'm going to read for November because... I don't know. I've got seven books on my TBR shelf, on my bookshelf, that I can choose from. So I'll just have to wait and see which ones. Maybe I'll just do all seven for November and just do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So yeah, that's my updates for the uh, third day of um, Vampathon. Hope you guys are enjoying the weekly reading vlogs. I'm trying to make them a bit more aesthetic this time and a bit more enjoyable for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying these ones. Um, so yeah, I probably won't be able to update much tomorrow because I am working tomorrow. Um, and I probably won't be able to squeeze in much reading either. So yeah, um, I can't guarantee what my updates for tomorrow will be, but I will definitely try my best um, as I can for you guys tomorrow. Hi everyone. So today is... Um, Friday the, so today is Friday the 29th of October, which means it is the fifth day of Vampathon. And I'm just giving you guys my update. So I actually finished The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang on Wednesday night. Um, and I gave it a five out of five stars. I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait to continue on with the rest of the series. Um, it has like become an instant favorite. I'm like, I need to know what happens next. Like the cliffhanger she left us on. I didn't expect to get like that attached to like the characters and everything that I have. So um, probably after Christmas time, probably when I will look into getting um, the second one um but so yeah but sorry I didn't update get you guys yesterday I worked most of the afternoon yesterday um and it was just not a great mental health day for me yesterday it was just not great so I was tired and all that so yeah anyway sorry I didn't update you guys yesterday but I'm just giving you guys my updates for today so I'm gonna get a start on the diviners by Libra Bray this one feels a prompt for um a supernatural main character because as far as I know the main character in here has like supernatural powers or something as far as I know from what I've read in the synopsis she does anyway um so yeah so I actually haven't gotten a start on reading it all today I've just been kind of chilling out and watching because like I said yesterday I didn't have a great mental health day so it's kind of carried on into today and I'm not feeling 100% I'm exhausted I'm just I'm not feeling fantastic today so um yeah that's why I've just been trying to chill out as much as I can but I'm planning on reading um a, but oh sorry about the glare but yeah I'm planning on getting a start on reading this because it is a thick one I really don't think I'm going to finish by Sunday um when Vampathon ends because I do have work again tomorrow so yeah um that's the plans for today slash tonight I will give you guys hopefully I'll be able to update you guys later get some more kind of aesthetic -y shots in for you guys but yeah so sorry about yesterday and sorry if this is the only date for uh sorry sorry if this is the only update for today I'm just kind of I'm not 100% with it if I have to be completely honest with you guys and I'm just I'm exhausted so yeah um just sort of but I wanted to give you guys an update anyway <music> of October which means it's the last day of October and it's also the last day of Vampathon and it is Halloween so happy Halloween everyone if you celebrate Halloween um, I'm not much of a Halloween person um, don't get me wrong I used to trick or treat as a kid but I'm not really like a spooky season type of person anyway but happy Halloween if it's you know your favorite season or your favorite day or if you celebrate it then happy Halloween everyone um, I also just wanted to say I got my second COVID jab today, so I'm fully vaccinated, fully vaxxed, living best life, getting vaccinated against COVID. Um, I literally only got it like maybe like half an hour ago. I didn't get my vaccine that long ago, so I can't really say like what's happening to me at the moment. It's just more of a sore arm, but that's like normal. That's what happens. So 
yeah, um, I can't really give you guys much of an update in regards to that, but yeah, um, so because today is the last day of Vampathon, I'm just giving you guys my updates on the Diviners by Libra Bray, so I'm up to page 46, um, with the Diviners, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I really enjoy Evie as a character. She is really cool. Like, as soon as, like, I delved into Evie and as soon as we, like, dove into the book, I was like, yes, I am vibing with Evie. Like, I can tell that I'm really going to enjoy her as a main character. So I'm living for that. Can't wait to read more of it. I am feeling a little tired <laughs> at the moment. But we've also had a really big day as well. We've just been out all morning and this is, like, the only time that I've really had just to be able to sit down and relax the entire day so yeah um that's the plan so yeah so yeah my plans for the rest of the day is just to obviously do some editing catch up on some youtube videos i'm a bit <laughs> far behind on and uh read the diviners i can't guarantee that i will finish this tonight because it's quite a hefty book so i can pretty much guarantee i'm not going to finish this today but that's okay i also need to catch up on some journaling because i'm really far behind i need to do my november spreads and I need to decide what books I'm reading for November because I have a lot on my TBR but I have no idea what I want to read so that's fun but yeah so I just wanted to give you guys an update sorry if I don't update much tonight slash today I'll try my best to update you guys as much as I can but yeah thank you guys so much for watching these Vampathon vlogs I hope you enjoyed this Vampathon weekly reading vlog I really enjoyed vlogging I know that it's <laughs> my vlogs probably aren't that exciting but I'm actually going to keep up weekly vlogging, so from Monday it will be weekly vlogs. I hope you guys don't mind that. I really enjoyed vlogging, so I'm going to continue. And then that way you guys can, um, you know, keep up with my day and see more behind the scenes and kind of, you know, maybe like have more thoughts about my books and what I would say in my wrap up or whichever. So yeah, um, I'm going to continue on with weekly reading vlogs. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below. Is spooky season your favourite season or are you more of like a different kind of season type of person? So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!